Welcome to Missouri Earth Movers. In this video I'll be talking about hydraulic fluid. Now hydraulic fluid used in hydraulic systems is also known as tractor fluid. I don't know how many of you knew that. I didn't know that. And uh, it's basically, uh, most applications, it's a petroleum base and they add additives to it to basically meet the situation of whatever the machine that it's operating in is working in. Uh, and also if you're working in a food prep industry they also use water since uh, you can use almost any non-compressible liquid which every liquid out there pretty much is non-compressible so uh, in special si situations you can also uh, they have fire resistant fluid if you're working in a place where there's uh, really really high heat or you're working in a situation like in a wildfire area where the machines are always in constant contact with burning branches and stuff like that you definitely do not want that to catch on fire so um, also, what the hydraulic fluid does for uh, the system itself is it lubricates all the components and it suspends any contaminants or metal shavings that might happen to um, come off of any part of the system. It suspends those so that when it goes to the filter, uh, the filter can filter those out of the system so that they do not reintroduce themselves and harm any of the components. And then it also, the hydraulic fluid must run in a wide temperature range, meaning uh, some of these machines work in Arctic conditions or in Sahara type, you know, desert conditions. So when you first start them up, you know, if it's really hot or really cold, the, t uh, the fluid at, you know, non-operating temperature must be good enough to operate the hydraulics and the control valves and run through the system without, uh, you know, anything messing it up. Also, it, it must take uh, severe pressure and um, you know high temperatures during operation, of course, because when the machine's going, even if it's cold out, once it warms up and they're using it a lot, you know that fluid's going to get up to a couple hundred degrees probably. So, um, yeah, guys, that's just the basics of uh, hydraulic fluid. There, if there's anything I missed, I apologize. I'll try to add it into the annotations. And if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next video.